Welcome back to Pro TV. Today we're doing a quick unboxing and first impressions of the Note 8. I have always been a big fan of the Note uh, Note series. I've never really been a fan of the S line, but with that said, I've had the S3, the S6, S7, S8, and not to mention like the S6 Edge, S7 Edge, you know. But as far as the Note series, I had the Note 3 and the Note 4. I skipped, the only reason why I skipped the Note 5 was because it didn't have expandable storage. I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but it didn't have expandable storage. So it was a great phone, but I, for, you know, 32 gigs or 64 gigs or whatever it was, no expandable storage at the time. I, I think expandable storage on Android phones are, are a must now, you know, so I don't know. I just, I skipped it. The Note 7, I wanted it. I really wanted to get it. And then I started seeing all these batteries blow up and stuff like that. So I just skipped it. I just, you know, I just said, you know, maybe maybe next year. And here we are next year. So I'm going to run down just some quick, quick specs. It's got a 6.3 Super AMOLED panel, 12 megapixel dual cameras with OIS on both of them, 6 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 835 processor, 3300 milliamp battery. A lot of people aren't too happy about that because the the S Plus has 3500 milliamp battery, and this has a 3300 milliamp battery. You know, so but in some of the reviews that I've been seeing, it's supposed to last longer. So we'll see next week when I put it to the test and I do everything. Um, what else? Uh, it's Gorilla Glass on the front and back. IP68 certified. Um, it comes with Android 7.1.1. Hopefully it gets. Uh, hopefully it gets um, Oreo soon. 64 gigs of internal storage. Uh, it's got a micro SD slot for up to 256 gigabytes. Uh, what else do you guys want to know? I think those are like the best. I mean, those are like the the most hit on. You know. Uh, specs but for without further ado let's get this thing open i'm so excited like i said i skipped those two other notes i i turned it on already i'm downloading my apps and stuff but there's the there's a device itself it's gorgeous gorgeous sd card slot power button headphone jack usb type c s pen and the one speaker the bixby button volume rocker up and down see what else is in here nothing nothing usual books and shit uh, seam ejector tool these two adapters right here are pretty dope um, that's what I use actually to transfer all my stuff I think that more companies should invest in something like this or come with a preloaded app where you can just Bluetooth it over or something like that charging brick the tips for the S Pen Cable and these headphones right here, these AKG headphones, just like on the HTC U11, those headphones were sick, and I'm glad you know these big big companies are putting in headphones in their phones again, because for a while there they kind of disappeared or they kind of just stale, you know, they just kind of didn't really sound so good. Um, let's file that to the side. What everybody's been waiting for, like I said, I've been downloading some apps. Everything is uploaded basically smooth, 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 smooth. My initial impressions of this, I thought it was going to be too big to hold in the hand because it's a little bit bigger than the, than the S8 Plus, but damn, it, it honestly doesn't feel, it feels like perfect in the hands. It really feels good in the hands. Love this screen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's it's a great device. I, I'm gonna turn this off. I don't I don't use the Bixby button. I didn't use it on my S8. Um but as you can see, super responsive. Like I said, Samsung is finally going in the right direction. Great phone. 
I can't wait to test it out. But as far as my first initial impressions, I'm going to have to wait for a case for it because I'm scared I'm going to drop it. But I might just start using it just so I can start my test today. We'll see how that goes. But as far as my initial impressions, I'm excited about this phone. I think that it's possibly going to be the number one phone from here until, you know, maybe second quarter of next year, maybe third quarter of next year. We'll see. We'll see what other phones come out that might go head to head with this. Um, I thought the V30 would go head to head with this, but honestly, it's not looking too promising in my opinion. But we'll we'll have to wait and see and and if I can get it and I might get it just to do a quick comparison of both of them. We'll, I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of LG, so we'll see. But I was really impressed with my S8, and I'm very, very impressed with this phone right now. Super smooth. I'm going to set up everything up. I'm going to do my test, do some camera tests. I'm going to upload some camera tests. I'll probably do that first. I'll probably do some quick camera tests, upload those videos. I just want to see. I'm very excited to try this camera out. Very excited to try out the whole phone period. Um, I'm going to do an in-depth look in my review on the S Pen because a lot of people don't really use it. <laughs> a lot of people don't really use it and they're, and they're saying, you know, if you're not going to use it, just, just go with the S8 Plus. In my opinion, when I had all my notes, I used my S Pen daily. It's not because I wanted to use them. I just had the necessity to use them and it's just it makes things more convenient like let's say you want to send somebody a picture you can just square off the little section you want and just send it off right then and there you don't have to screenshot you don't have to you know edit and crop it no you can just go tap on it crop out what you want and just send it off so I mean little things like that is what I use it the most in now that I own my business I think that I'm gonna really find a good use for, for the S Pen and you know, if I have to sign stuff and send it back or we'll see. But I really, really want to do an in-depth look at the S Pen. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for my review. Maybe in the next couple of days, I'll probably drop some camera reviews and camera videos and things like that. But I'm very excited about the Note 8. Stay tuned for my next videos. I'll check you guys on the next ones.